All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and rule well. And Shalom to the humble, hopeful, fearful, elect of you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. All right, and this is Brother Kabad from GMS Heavy Honor 144. GMS South Carolina Midlands Camp, Kabai Yasharala, coming back with a quick video through the power of the Spirit of Yahweh by Shema Washai, and Lord willing, this video is edified and good nourishment to the house of David. All right, and just getting straight into it, um, just straight to the facts, what kind of prompted this video, um, it was a, a, a guy I knew back when I was, uh, well, well, a guy that's in the world, you know, because I knew him whenever, uh, being uh pretty much brand new to this faith and um also is a is a is a guy that uh <laughs> that the bishop uh Haka here in uh from the GMS South Carolina Midlands camp he 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 wouldn't know who this uh particular uh, individual is you know um uh um Mr uh what we would call him can't get right man all right because this individual would uh would love to uh, try to show me and the bishop back in the day, like documentaries on, you know, so-called black civilization, like the hidden colors and, you know, the Dr. Umar's and, you know, and, and things of that nature. And um, even back then, you know, before um, we initially got on highways and byways, whenever we were, you know, uh, what well, through the spirit, whenever the Lord was preparing us to, to get ready to, to make that uh, ultimate uh, leap, you know, uh, to being on the highways and byways. Even back then, we would be trying to tell this clown about, hey, man, all oh, that's fine and dandy. That's scratching the surface. But it all goes back to, you know, you being a Hebrew Israelite and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Because, you know, Jacob uh, um, uh, hear something and they try to piece everything all together, you know, just pretty much leaning on their own understanding. So fast forward, the same individual. You know, reached out and all the madness going on, World War Three on the brinks right now, you know, inflation, uh, the so-called endemic, you know, uh, chariot sightings, it just, et cetera. All these things is going on in the world. This individual, you know, reached out, uh, uh, hit me up uh, and, and was talking to me about getting a podcast show and, and, and you know, just, you know, just having a podcast show to uh expose you know his idea was like oh i'm gonna expose the fact that these people wasn't snitching and because it's public information and you know a, a good idea you know but a dumb idea because we're in the times of with the, the, the the main public information that you need to be displaying is this truth this knowledge this wisdom and understanding but see that goes back to uh, uh jeremiah 4 real quick I, i'll get that right quick this is the book of um, Jeremiah chapter 4 and uh, 22. We'll get that right quick and I'll go back to what I had on the screen. It's Jeremiah 4, chap uh, uh, verse 22, and it reads, it says, For my people is foolish, they have not known me. All right? They are saddest children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. All right, because the times that we're in right now, this isn't the time to be wanting to uh, uh, make podcast shows about uh, so so called celebrities and 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 fighting and showing their cases and uh, free public records. The main thing that you need to be publicly, uh, uh, if you wanted to be doing anything, you should be wanting to do something in in um, regards to exposing Esau and. And uh, allowing our people to see the truth, man. But see, that's only a job for the prophets of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Abaratazai, we say that humbly. And that begins here with our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone. On down to our sincere brothers, man. All right? Because this individual, Jake, as the scripture said, they're wise to do evil, man. All right? In the time of, of martial law approaching the, R, the, uh, the MOTB, you know, and all these other things going on, Jake mind would rather do something evil that's not going to, that pretty much that would benefit himself and, 
and 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 just continue to keep our people in a stupid state of mind, man. That's why the scripture said they are side as children, man. They're wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no understanding. Because if, if that dude would have called and say, man, you know what? I want to make videos uh, uh, going into, hey, we're the real, we're the real uh, Jews, we're the real Hebrew Israelites, you know. That would have been a good thing to do, man. All right, that would have been showing growth and, and also maturity, man. Because as scriptures say, when you become a man, you put away childish ways, man. All right, that's childish to want to be on the internet having controversy about old court cases and, you know, things of that nature, man. All right, but see, not only this individual, Jake, that uh, that called me with this, uh, with one of the, with his so-called bright idea, when you look at your social media feeds, you see a whole lot of Jakes in that same trend, man, talking about a whole bunch of bullshit, bro, talking about who got beef with who and, oh, this, this uh, cheaters or Whatever the case may be, man, showing uh, Jake just acting like goddamn buffoons, being monkeys, being idiots. And, you know, we all know it's all entertainment. But see, this is what engulfs Jake's mind, man. Instead of a, 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 instead of uh, enlightening people about what's really going on, they're pretty much making light of situations, man. All right. When we're in a time of all hell breaking loose, man. All right. But see, this is why this job uh, uh, here. Uh, at Great Millstone, uh, mainly, all right, beginning, because we, hey, well, at Great Millstone, because we deal with 100% truth, man, it's only for, for sincere believers and sincere followers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, all right, because the rest of our people, man, they, they rather stay in the, in, you know, in the, in the state of confusion, man, in that house of, um, of, of folly, man, all right, so, um, we're going to jump real quick. This is the book of Matthew, and I want to start at um, Matthew chapter 12, verse 34, and it says, O generation of vipers, and this is Yahweh Shai Mashiach speaking, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, man. It says, O generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things, all right? And, and, and straight like that, man, the most High call you vipers, man, all right? Call you snakes, man, all right? Fork-tongued niggas, man. All right, how can ye being evil speak good things? Because most of our people are evil out here, man. All right, but yet they'll tell you that they're they're so-called speaking good things. You know, they I'm informing you about what's going on uh, 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 by showing you Jake acting like goddamn monkeys out here, man. All right, we already know our people are already acting out of control, man. How? Why aren't you? Why? Why, why aren't you guys having a solution? Why aren't you going to the scripts telling people, hey, do the Romney, hey, 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 like pretty much. The, the basics, man, going through the Deuteronomy 28th chapter, proving that, hey, these curses prescribed to our people, you know, but you never see Jake doing that. Once again, that's that's how you know it's only a, 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 a select group of men that the Lord has ordained to do that, man, all right, because our people will sit back and watch all this madness, all right, all this evil shit all day, man, but it, it that, that, that does nothing for their spirit, it does nothing for their soul, but it fulfills that, that lust of their flesh, man, all right? That feel good spirit of that. Oh, that was so funny. That was so hilarious. But the, but the times that we're approaching, there's nothing funny or there's nothing hilarious about it, man. There's nothing hilarious about Esau, your goddamn enemy, still oppressing you, man. There's nothing funny about when you go into the goddamn gas pumps and you're paying goddamn mortgage payment, man. There's nothing funny about that at all. But see, this is the mind frame of Jake, man. This is the mind frame stupidity of our people, man. All right, Matthew 12 and 34 says, O generation of vipers, how can ye being evil speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. All right, so going back to your heart being your lob, your mind, man, what are you filling your, your, your mind up with, man? Because that's what your mouth is going to speak. If you're filling your mind up and you're abundantly, adamantly filling your mind up with good spiritual things, guess what? You're going to speak those good spiritual things, being in that mind frame of prophecy. But if you're filling your mind up with a whole bunch of folly, with what's going on in the world, guess what? You're going to be speaking those things, man. And those things lead to nothing, man. I mean, what good is it knowing that, oh, this rapper is beefing with this rapper? Oh, Tom Brady's coming back. He's coming out of retirement, man. What good and, and what good is that? Because bet your bottom dollar you're going to have a whole bunch of jakes that all of a sudden you have all these jakes with these sports shows and all they know all uh, statistical stats about this player and comparing, oh, was Penny Hardaway better than uh, uh, with Jordan or was Jordan better than Kobe and, and LeBron? And they know all these damn stats, man. But here it is, Jake don't know. Hey, they're not measuring the times. Hey, we're on the verge of 
all hell breaking loose and, and the return of, of our Lord and Savior, man. All right. So what good is knowing all these things, the abundance of, of your mind soaking up all that bullshit? And, and, and that's not going to be able to save you in the day of judgment, man. Knowing how many rings Michael Jordan had, man. Knowing how many points uh, LeBron ha has to before he trumps the so-called record. Uh, Tom Brady's coming back. That's not going to, that's not going to, what, what good is that going to do you in the day of judgment, man? All right. Now let's continue on real quick. It says, um, or, or, matter of fact, let me get a preset real quick. Cause Matthew 12 and 34 says, old generation of vipers. How can ye being evil speak good things for out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaking. All right. Real quick. Second, uh, Timothy four and, uh, three, it says, for the time will come. When they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. All right. And it says, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. Now, with this right here, man. All right. Because you have a whole bunch of uh, uh, niggas of the circumcision. All right. Because uh, they, they don't want to endure the sound doctrine of the, of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, man. And, and, and also the times that we're in, too, everybody's a goddamn teacher all of a sudden. Everybody know the doggone, uh, know the scriptures now, man. All right? Supposedly, man. All right? But then when you get into breaking down words and, and, and that Esau's going into slavery, man, and that the Lord doesn't love everybody, Jake becomes so offended, man. And what does scripture say? It says what? They, they, they start leaning on their own. Uh, and then they, 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 uh, they, they have, they lean on their own lust, man. All right. Then they have itching ears listening to, the, to this doctrine, that doctrine, and just coming up with a whole bunch of madness. All right. And then they just totally turn their ears away from the truth, man. And, and they turn into fables, turn into lies, man. But inevitably, that's the spirit of the Lord, man. Hey, hey, uh, as the scriptures tell you, Roman, Romans 11 and 7, the election have obtained it, but the rest were blinded even until this day, man. Meaning that the Lord had it where he didn't want them to get it, man. That he wanted you, you, you guys to be those fools, man. All right? Because it, the Lord speaks about in Zechariah 13, 8 and 9, about two-thirds of our people, man, are going to get cut off and die, man. All right? And, and that's thanks to uh, these hirelings. All right, all you, uh, because the signs are there, all the writings are on the wall, man. All right, you people say that, oh, I, I, I want to know what's going on, and I need a sign from the, the, the Heavenly Father. Uh, I need a sign from the Lord, and, and, and these are the signs when you see the prophets on the highways and byways, man. Never has before, you can say in, in time, especially the times that we're in now, that you've seen so many uh, men on the highways and byways that's out here pushing the truth, man. All right, and I'm talking about the men here at Great Millstone, man. All right. Now, you see, you, you have those other bootleg Israelite camps, too, man. And that right there is, is somewhat of a so-called phenomenon to see like just men on the highways and byways with Bibles. But you have the true teachers for my apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone, man. All right. And then you also have a, a from from as we're going to get back in Matthew 12. All right. Other brothers uh, uh, throughout the four corners of the earth, man. All right. Every pretty much every state here in the United States, so-called United States of America, you, hey, you can find a, 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 a great millstone camp, man. All right. And then also that expands through the spirit of the Lord, man, throughout the four corners of the earth. You got brothers in Hawaii. You got brothers in Italy, man. You got brothers down in the uh, in the Caribbeans, man. All right. You got brothers pretty much throughout the four corners of the earth, man. All right, pushing that real sound doctrine. But the scripture said, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Second Timothy 4 and 3. All right, because we're in those times now where our people don't endure sound doctrine, man. All right, then you have these guys, what? Uh, 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 after their own lust, man. All right, having itching ears. Uh, and then they start saying they're teachers, man. They're prophets, man. All right, tell the teaching our people all the wrong things to do, man. All right. Now it says, uh, second Timothy four and four, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth. All right. And we see that, man. All right. People don't want to, but, oh, the Lord was a spirit. He wasn't a physical being, but, and, and that's a damn lie, man. Oh, the Lord loves everybody. That's a damn, another damn lie. Oh, the new Testament, uh, the old Testament is done away with. That's another lie, man. All right. And this is how you have people, what, turning their ears away from the truth and being turned to the fables, man. All right. But the scriptures say, but. Watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, and do the work of an evangelist, make foolproof thy ministry, man. All right, because 
Hey, sincere brothers, the hopeful, humble, fearful elect, man. We we, we got to stay on watch and watch all things, man. Scripture speak about giving them the name, those that make mention of the Lord's name, Yahweh Bashim Shai. Hey, keep not silent, man. All right, we got to be defenders of the gospel. We got to uh, uh, measure the times, man. It says endure afflictions because our own people want to goddamn inflict us, man. All right, but hey, hey Yahweh Shai already prepared us for that because he said if they hated him, surely they're going to hate us, man. All right, and we see that, man, because uh, people hate on us for what? Telling them the truth, man. The scriptures tell you that, man. What, I become your enemy because I tell you the truth, man? All right? And our people, they, they hate because we tell them the truth, man. All right, but we still got to what? Make foolproof this ministry, man. All right, because all that just makes brothers uh, more uh, confident and, and, and know that, hey, that we're doing the right things, man. All right? Because the Lord said, hey, if they hate you, man, then, hey, you just know that they hated me before they hated you. So that's that's also full proof of who has the 100% truth, man. All right? Because you, most people love all these other goddamn, these guys out here, your pastors and these bootleg Israelite camps that, hey, come, come, let's have a community cookout. Hey, hey Jake loved that, man. All right? But the scriptures tell you, man. All right? Yahweh Shai told us, man. They hated him. They're going to hate us, man. Why? Because... Hey, to the best of our abilities, man, we're doing the same thing. We're, we're followers of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Now, getting back to, uh, let's get back to this Matthews real quick. Matthew 6 and, um, and uh, uh, 34, and I'm going to read on down. Old generation of vipers, how can ye being evil speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. A good man out of the good treasure of the heart bring up forth good things you see that now it says hey this is the words of yahweh shah mashiach matthew 12 and uh 35 a good man out of out of the good treasure of the heart bring up forth good things okay so that means a good man that a follower yahweh bashim yahweh shai man all right Wh whose mind is set on prophecies whose mind is is, is about examining itself on a daily basis Hey, he's going to spew good things out of his mouth, man. And he's going to bring forth good treasures, man. All right. Bring forth that, uh, that, that righteous, uh, uh, tree, man. All right. That righteous, uh, uh, uh branch, man. That, that, that good tree. All right. A, a non-corrupt tree, man. All right. Because, uh, um, let's, let's continue. As it says, it says, and an evil man, Matthew 12 and 35, again, it says a good man out of, out of, out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things, and an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. All right, when your mind is set on the ways of this world, you're doing speaking evil things, thinking evil things. Guess what? Hey, e evil things are going to be around you, man. You're going to be engulfed. Your mind's not going to be on the MOTB, man. You're going to be thinking like, oh man, I got to run this sack up. I got to get this money, man. All right. And that's, and that's all evil treasures, man. All right. Evil treasures that's going to profit you nothing in the day of, of, of the Lord. You how about Shem how shy, man. All right. And, 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 the, and the Lord, as the scripture is going to allude to say, man, because people think that they can just say whatever they want to say and do whatever they want to do. And the Lord just is, is I, I guess they think the Lord is just on, on break, man. All right. He, he's not listening. And he's not paying attention as if he doesn't have. The host of angels, all right, as if he doesn't have, hey, you got the prophets out here, man. Our apostles and our elders, man, we see and we hear the things that people say, man, from our, from our co-workers, family work, family members, people on the highways and byways and passing on the comment boards. We hear and we see these things these people say, man. And little did they know, man, hey, pretty much, but a matter of fact, let's read, let's read. Uh, uh, Matthew 12 and 36, but I say unto you, this is the words of Yahweh Shai Mashiach speaking, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. All right. So everything that you people say, all right, everything that you people type and thinking and whatever it may be, man. Hey, the Lord knows, man. And he said you're going to give account of in the day of judgment. All right. So if you, as the scripture said above, man, the evil man. With the evil treasure bringing forth those evil things, that means the evil thoughts, and 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 then you have people doing evil, uh, participating in evil ways. Guess what, man? And 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 and, 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 and if that's the message that you're pushing, all right, with your itching ears and and, and thinking you have uh, so-called supreme knowledge, all right, 
a hey, hey, hold a hey, keep that same energy in the day of judgment man because if you're not walking in in the correct ways and singing the song correctly by the heavenly father hey you're going to be condemned man now real quick it says uh, um matthew 12 and 37 for by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be condemned all right so meaning whatever comes out of your damn mouth man all right uh uh, uh as the scripture said the abundance of your heart man that's going to come out of your mouth, man. So whatever you're, 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 you're digesting in your lab, man, going back to your mind, whatever you're putting into your mind, typically it spews out of your mouth. And that's going to, is either going to reap good things, that good treasure, or it's going to reap evil things, that evil treasure. And most of our people that are, as I was kind of opening up with, uh, doing this podcast or whatever, and, 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 and the rest of these niggas in this madness, all those things. Those are evil things, man. As I said, it is it, entertainment. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We watch it for entertainment. But if you're making this your livelihood and this is what you're trying to educate people on and this is what you're educating and filling your mind up with, then guess what? Those are evil things. They're not going to profit you a goddamn thing, man, at all. You're, you're going to be you're going to be condemned for those things. You're not going to be justified for knowing how many goddamn movies uh, Denzel Washington played in, man, his first movie that he played in. You're not going to be justified for knowing every goddamn uh, uh, Avenger movie in, in, in complete order, man. And this is the type of things that our people are engulfed with, man. And, and their, their minds are wrapped around, man, except knowing and not knowing the scriptures, man. All right. They rather, they, they, our people can tell you every goddamn Marvel character, every Marvel movie, you know, Dragon Ball Z, whatever the case may be. But when it comes to speaking things that you should be speaking, all right, uh, learning things that abundantly, pretty much getting this abundant good knowledge and wisdom and understanding, hey, Jake is on Terry, man. Jake is, Jake don't care about that, man, all right? But the scripture's saying, man, hey, you got to have those, speak those good things and, and, and reap that good treasure, man, because those are the things that you're going to get justified for, man, all right? But most of our people are going to be condemned because they chose to what? Hey, they they chose to, to to keep their their minds on doing um that scriptures we read open up with too uh, Jeremiah four and twenty two they're wise to do evil man but to do good they have no knowledge man going back to they have no fear of the Lord so they don't they don't they they don't think that this this matters man they don't think that rehearsing the righteous acts and speaking things uh uh, uh spiritual things matter man all right um real quick let's jump to uh. Let me get uh, 2 Corinthians real quick because we just read that every idle word will be, uh, you will give account thereof in the day of judgment, right? So let's back that up real quick. This is, uh, what's that, 2 Corinthians uh, 5 and 10, I believe. Bear with me. All right, come. So this is uh, Matthew 12 and um, 36. One more time. It says, in his words of Yahweh Shamashiach speaking, it says, But I say unto you that every idle word, Every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. All right? Now, this is 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. Shalaki. It says, For we all must appear before the judgment seat of Mashiach. You hear that? Now, we just read in Matthews, it says what? For every idle word that men, that, that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in judgment day. All right? In judgment day. Now, 2 Corinthians 5 and 10, it says, For we all must appear before the judgment seat of Mashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. So, Going back to what we read, man, about the about the, the good man with the good treasures and the evil man with the evil treasures. So whether it be good or whether it be bad, guess what? We've all got to appear in front of that judgment seat of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. And by our words, we're going to be what? We're going to be justified or you're going to be condemned. All right? So it, you don't have time, Jake, to be, uh, um, as I said, if it's a hobby and you do that on your side, but the main thing that you need to be 
and educating and filling your mind up with is knowing these scriptures, man, knowing this truth, getting these breakdowns, having that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, having that fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, man, knowing the right name to call on, man, all right, because it's going to be a, 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 a crap load of you people when all hell break loose, going to be, oh, Jesus, help me, Jesus, help me, Jesus, and guess what? Jesus ain't going to be there to help you, man, all right? Jesus ain't going to be nowhere around, man. And we should know that by now, man. Because where was Jesus at when uh, down there in Charleston when when the damn devil came up in the church, uh, Dylan Roof, and, uh, and, and, and laid the smack down, man? All right? What was Jesus during all those bombings that happened back in the day, man? All right? When our people praying the doggone Jesus, man. What was Jesus during the doggone, or 1921, uh, Black Wall Street, man? All right? But see, that's all the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, because hey, the Lord said he's a jealous power and our people worshiping the goddamn Serapis, man. All right. And, and instead of uh worshiping their true power, man. All right. But that's a hey, but but hey, the Lord is gonna the Lord is that's why Yahweh Shai's name is what? The Redeemer, man. Because the Lord is gonna get that revenge. He's gonna redeem anyway, man. All right. But those just prime examples of a hey, calling on that name of Jesus Christ that has no power in it, man. All right. It has no power at all in it, man. Hey, the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, his name is Yahweh, and his only begotten son is Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Those are the names that that, that that's gonna uh uh that, that 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 can help you in the time of all hell breaking loose, man. All right. But um I'll continue on. 2 Corinthians 5 and 11. Therefore, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. But we are made manifest unto Yahweh that I trust also are made manifest in your consciences, man. All right. Now, the scripture says, therefore, knowing the terror of the Lord, man, because the day of the Lord is going to be dark, man. It's not going to be any light in it, as the scriptures tell you, man. All right. And, 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 then, and then the Lord just said, what? Hey, every out of word, you're going to be justified or you're going to be condemned, man. So where the hell people get off saying, oh, the Lord will love everybody. When the scripture we just read, it said you're going to be justified. Meaning you're going to, uh, hey, the Lord is going to pardon you or, and it, or, or, or condemn. If you're condemned, that means he's going to punish you, man. So where the hell do people get off saying, hey, the Lord loves everybody? When he just clearly made a separation right there. You're going to be justified. You're going to be condemned. And then the Lord also said, every, hey, you're going to be, uh, for everything you did in your body, whether it's good or whether it's bad. All right? So it is no, the Lord is, hey, man, where do people get this from, man? Oh, I know where they get it from. Going back to what we read earlier, man, keeping to themselves teachers, man, having itching ears, uh, mixing this doctrine with this doctrine and start leaning on your own God dog on understanding, man. All right. As as we also read, what? Turning your ears from the truth and turning into fables, man, because this is what our people prescribe to fables, man. It tells you that in what? Uh, Isaiah 30. It said prophesy not until us right things, but prophesy lies, man. And that's what our people rather hear, man, dog on lies than hearing the truth, man. All right. But hey, here at Great Millstone, man, we, hey, we're obligated, man, through the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, to give you the truth, man. All right. Because if we don't give you the truth, guess what? Then the Lord can fuck us up, man. The Lord can jack us up. And this is what, as we just read, knowing the terror of the Lord. Hey, we know the terror of the Lord, man. We're not trying to feel that terror from the Lord, man. All right. That's why we're trying to speak these good words, man. Say these good things, have that good treasure, man, to be justified in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, man. All right. So this ain't the time, man, for Jake to be on, uh, uh, oh man, I want to, um, I just want to start my own show and do my own thing and, and talk about, uh, public records, uh, about court cases, man. Who gives a, man, the most important case that, 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 that individual should be making a public record is the public case, uh, of, of the humil humiliation that these goddamn heathens and, and goddamn Esau did against you. How was I my shot, man? That should be the, the public case that, that that dude should be pushing, man. All right. But hey, once again, hey, the Lord doesn't, hey, hey, the Lord, hey, doesn't have that dude doing that, man. All right. And this is, goes back to, hey, the rest being blinded, man, because Jake rather be blinded with bullshit of the world than to be in tune with reality, man. Because a hey, newsflash, Jake, everything that going, everything outside of the truth, the knowledge of wisdom, understanding, man, that's that's not reality, man. That's bullshit of the world, man. Those are all distractions, man. All right, and most of our people fall right into the traps of distractions, man. All right, this goddamn whore America, man. 
All right. Hey, it's a big ass amusement park, man. All right. Restaurants, light, bright lights on every corner, uh, uh, television, uh, your entertainment and all that stuff. When, it, when, when actuality, man, we're in the age of information. We're supposed to be soaking up much information as we can, man. All right. Going back to a uh, being abundant, abundantly filling our hearts and our lives with, 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 with good things, man. Good things according to the scriptures. All right. Good things according to, to the Lord. How about Shem How about Shai, man? All right. Not fulfilling the lust of the flesh, man. That's why the scripture's there in Ephesians, man. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, man. All right? But against principalities, man. Ephesians 6 and 12. All right? Because, hey, man, this world is designed to do what? Try to make you go off, man. This is why Esau is your enemy, man. This is why Esau had you in slavery and captivity. Your enemy knows you. He knows what makes you tick. He knows what makes you react. And he knows how to make you act like a bunch of goddamn monkeys, man. All right. Old generation of vipers, man. All right. Doing everything, speaking and doing all type of things evil, but yet want to call it good. man. All right. This is why we got to get out of here, man. This is why we're praying, fasting, studying as we are approaching the time of the Passover, asking the Lord hey, to have mercy upon us and our household. All right. But um, as I said, this wanted to be a quick little video through the spirit. All right. About, um, you know, knowing the right things to say, speak the right things, man. Learn the right lyrics to the songs of the Lord, man. Start rehearsing the, the righteous acts to the best of your abilities. You Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, man. Turn away from hearing fables, man, because the truth is out here, man. The proof is in the pudding, man. All right. From looking up words to getting full understanding, man. There's really no excuse, man. All right. You got to remember, as the, as the scripture said, man. We all gonna we all gonna be called to that judgment seat, man. And the Lord is gonna 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 pretty much give you the rundown of everything that you did in this body, man. All right, because guess what? This body that you have now, uh, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, it doesn't belong to you, man. <laughs> it's, hey, this body belongs to Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. All right, and hey, and and, and and Lord willing, beginning with our apostles and our elders, man, we can't wait till we get those new bodies, man. All right. Because these bodies are, are broken down to foul, nasty, weak as hell, et cetera, et cetera, man. So with that, man, I will decided this short, quick video was good edification and good nourishment to the house of David. All right. So I'm going to close by saying, call Halayim La Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, and Kakwadash. Secondly, double honors to our apostles and our elders. He had great millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom wants and humble, hopeful, fearful elect of you brothers across the four corners of this earth. Pushing this word with our righteousness and sincerity. So